ring grab by Torkelson in the waist. Charges, fires, got it. Matt Sabatis' journey to the broadcast booth began with the suggestion of a teacher leading speech and debate club. He was the one to really notice that, that I kind of had the, the gift of gab and that I was more of a loud talker than anything. In just the opening innings of a young career, the St. Louis native has already made jumps from the gateway to the west to North Carolina and is now in the Gem City, calling dazzling diamond plays at each stop. Sign that'll get out of play. A ball and two strikes now. But it was a catch by his mother when he was younger that has helped him through his life's biggest curveball. I started to kind of lag behind socially and, and just in terms of uh, just general responses to to my peers and my age group, my, my mom was able to pick up on it fairly quickly. A special education teacher, Mimi Sabatis, guided Matt as he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism that affects a person's guys, ability cool to socialize and communicate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I would have to go out of my way to interact with people and, and to, to initiate conversations, I, I just, I've, I've I have a problem doing that. Sabata said at times in his life, and even this year, he's been challenged when interacting with others and trying to read certain situations. I don't want to say crippling fear, but it's left me with a lot of fear that has held me back at points. Here's the first pitch to Tatum. Fastball, ball strike on the inside half. But despite fear, the support of his mom and so many others has allowed Savatis to put on the headset and bring the images to life of baseball to the homes of thousands. Sky high, fairly deep, out to right. Polensky turns, and we've got a tie ball game. I thank her for that just about every day, and, and I make sure that I, I let her know that I'm always thankful for, for her hard work to to make sure that, that, I, that I was never too far behind. Now Sabatis is taking the stage to call on everyone to help end stigmas surrounding developmental disorders. If we're just a little bit more patient with them, then, then we, can, we can all put together some, some really good work because there's, there's a lot of great talents that, that can come from this. He's retired the last seven he's faced. We're on the bottom of the fourth at UPMC Park. For the news, I'm John Light. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.